Okay guys, uh, so what I'm doing here this morning is just doing a little bit of uh, swapping of parts. I'm back onto the uh, Mini Pulse Plus Rev E and I'm looking at the uh, Test Point 3, which is the uh, received preamp and what I want to do is, is swap out the NE5532, which we're seeing the performance of on the screen, and switch it out with a LM4562. So I've, I've got my cursors set up, and uh, we've got just about nine microseconds. for the time it takes to start coming out of saturation. Um, my other probe is, is just set up, we'll give you a shot here. It's set up on the um, hot insulation. Just show you what the uh, a little bit of the, the flyback on the coil. So that's the shot of the NE5532. And I've taken some air measurements, which I'll show you later. And next, we'll take a look at the LM4562. Okay, guys, I've uh, swapped out for 4562 now in place of the NE5532. Um, you can see I've redone the cursors. The time and voltage remain the same. Uh, now we're at a delta T of 11.9 microseconds until we start coming out of saturation. Um, what else I did was I, I compared some um, air detection readings and this is this is what I got between the two so you can see 5532 I was getting 10 inches for nickel about 8 inches for penny and with the 4562 I jumped up to 11 inches for the nickel and nine and a half for a penny. So, a little bit of an increase. Um, you do see the the waveform on the 4562 as it comes out of saturation. It looks like there's a lot of interference on it. Uh, I don't know if that's noise or really why it's like that. The uh, 5532 was a lot smoother, but I'm getting better detection, at least in the air. Uh, proof is in the pudding. See what I get when I'm out in the water. So for now, I'm going to leave in the uh, 4562. Thanks.